Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to have a look at the new features that were released with Windows 11 Moment 4 update. And this video is going to be quite long because there are a lot of new features in the latest update for Windows 11, the 2023 update that includes a lot of features that were requested by users all these years since Windows 11 was released. A quick note for those of you wondering what happened with Windows 11 23H2. Well, Microsoft decided to release all the new features that were previously tied to 23H2 in the version 22H2 so that all users will receive them and Windows 11 23H2 will be released maybe in October but will only change the Windows 11 version and all new features should be already installed on your system from Windows 11 22H2. So those things being said, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the page channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, I want to introduce you to private internet access. Using the internet without private internet access is like leaving your phone unsupervised in public places. All it takes is one quick thief to grab it. A virtual private network or VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Private internet access is the world's most transparent VPN provider with over 30 million downloads and their no logs policy has been proven multiple times in court. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using private internet access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. With private internet access, you can also unblock restricted content such as news websites for Canadians, which have been blocked in the past month. And you can use one private internet access subscription to protect an unlimited amount of devices at the same time. Make sure to check out private internet access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83% discount and 4 months free. A quick reminder for those of you who are using Windows 11 22H2, make sure to open up the settings app, go into Windows Update, make sure to check get the latest updates as soon as they're available and then click on check for updates so that you receive the moment for update with all the new features. What you need to know is that some features that you will see in this video may not be available for you because Microsoft is rolling certain features out slowly. For example, Windows Copilot is only rolling out for North America and a few other countries. So you can change the region if you want to get that or you can wait until Microsoft will officially release that to more countries. Now let's begin with all the new features in the Windows 11 moment for update. First of all, we have a new file explorer interface. As you can see, this is how the new file explorer looks. Basically, we have a redesigned homepage which will have some sections, quick access, favorites, and recent. And as you can see, everything is redesigned. We have new hovers, we have new rounded corners, and I think it looks pretty nice. We also have a lot of improvements to the details pane in the file explorer. So if we select, for example, an image, you're going to notice that in the details pane, you have some information, for example, the type of the image, the size, file location, date modified, date taken, dimensions, and more. And you also have a quick link for properties and also the sharing section. As you can see in the file explorer, we also have a completely redesigned address bar, which looks pretty nice with all the buttons with the search section. Also, the search section was improved a lot. It should be more reliable. Now, we also have a new gallery section, which was also improved, as you can see, with all the images that you have on your system. And you also have some other options where if you click on collection and manage collection, you're going to be able to add gallery location or which folders to see in gallery and I think that is pretty nice. And additionally, in the File Explorer, if you are connected with an Azure Active account, you're going to be able to also see cloud files and you also get a recommended cloud file section that you can use in Windows 11. I think that is pretty nice. And of course, in this update, we also have the option to drag out a tab from its window and make it a separate window. And then you also have the option to drag it back into the window. I think for now, this process is a little bit slow, but I'm sure that Microsoft will work on the speeds and also the animations of this. Other things, that has received a lot of updates in the moment for update is the sharing section of file explorer basically we now have an option when right clicking on a file we have the share option and also if you select a file you're gonna have the option up here click on it and you'll notice the new redesigned section which will include the name of the file you will be able to search for people or email and you can select which app you want to choose to share the file with another huge thing in this update is the new windows copilot ai assistant which is a new assistant in windows 11 which which uses AI and right now in this update it is able to do quite a lot of stuff. Not only you can open apps, you can change the Windows theme, you can set up a focus session, you can also generate images and so on. For example, I can type in here open file explorer and also you're going to have a confirmation from Windows Copilot. You can click on yes. Of course, Microsoft is working on this. Windows Copilot is still in the preview stage, but I think Microsoft is doing a great job with this. For example, let's generate an image. For example, let's type in here generate a red image and you're 
you're gonna see here in your section your image is generating and of course with the AI you can do a whole bunch of stuff you can type information and things that you want to generate an image with for example as I've said a red image was generated by the AI and I think is doing a pretty good job what I need to know is that the Windows Copilot AI assistant is using the Bing chat and also Microsoft Edge so it's pretty much a web integration at the moment but I'm thinking that Microsoft will improve this in the future and of course if you have this latest update you can feel free to test out things for yourself and see how Windows Copilot is working for you and what you can do with it but I'm thinking that at the stage where it is still a preview it's doing a pretty good job and also as you can see one thing that I didn't mention is that we also have a new icon for Windows Copilot which is very different from the Windows Insider program and I think it's looking pretty nice another new feature in this update is the ability to set taskbar icons to never combine and basically if you right click on the taskbar and then click on taskbar settings then scroll down to taskbar behaviors you're gonna have two options at the bottom combine taskbar buttons and hide labels and you have three options always when taskbar is full or never and you also have the option for external monitors and the same options again when taskbar is full will basically combine taskbar buttons when you have a lot of icons in the taskbar but if you select never taskbar buttons will never be combined and if we open multiple apps here you'll notice that it is pretty nice you will also notice that depending on the app you're using in the taskbar icon you will find the name of the tab for example in file explorer if i'm going to downloads we're going to notice that it will move to downloads and so on i think this is also an interesting feature also related to the taskbar if you right click on the date and time and then click on adjust date and time you'll notice this new option show time and date in the system tray turn this off to hide your time and date information on the taskbar and if you turn this off you'll notice that the date and time will be hidden in the system tray turn it on and you'll see the time and date in the system tray related to the start menu in the recommended section Microsoft worked on improving the previews for certain files if they are cloud-based and you'll be able to see previews for those certain files and if they are not located in the cloud you'll see this preview with the name of the file location and when it was accessed the last time another useful new feature is the ability to end a task directly from the taskbar and you can turn this on by going into settings and then in the system section then for developers and you're gonna have this new option end task enable end task and taskbar by right click turn this on and now if you right click on an app that is currently open in the taskbar you're gonna notice this new option end task I think this is very useful because you no longer have to open task manager right click on that end task you can just simply right click on an opened app in the taskbar then click on end task talking about the task manager the task manager also receives some updates if we right click on the taskbar and then click on task manager you'll notice a completely redesigned settings section for the task manager which matches the Windows 11 experience better with appearance general and also advanced options and as you can see it is categorized into these small tiles with remnant corners and I think it looks pretty nice also the minimize ability if you double click on the performance tab on a CPU graph for example is changed a bit and it's looking pretty good and also other dialogues were changed in task manager basically dialogues which had the old design from Windows 10 were updated to match the Windows 11 experience better now let's move on to the settings app because the settings app has a lot of new features and we're gonna open the new settings app and you'll notice first of all we have a new home section for the settings app in the new home section you're gonna have your cards with the most useful and the most recommended settings for example we have a first card with recommended settings date and time taskbar sound also information about cloud storage personalize your device Microsoft 365 subscription management and also security information and I think it's pretty interesting and also you need to note that if you don't have Windows 11 activated the personalize your device card won't be available and from here you can have access really fast to useful options for example click on sound and you will be redirected to the system and sound section of settings and as you can see all the cards have nice animations surrounded corners and they match the Windows 11 experience very well they have the mic eye effect and also in the settings app you'll notice that certain dialogues were updated to match the Windows 11 design and overall I think the settings app is more consistent with the Windows 11 theme at the moment if you go into the personalization and then dynamic lighting section we have some new options for controlling RGB lightings on our devices and you're gonna have a lot of options for example you can use dynamic lighting on the devices you can turn on compatible apps in the foreground always control lighting and we also have background light control you can change the intensity or the brightness of your lights and you also have certain effects that you can apply you can also match the Windows accent color or you can choose some RGB animations or effects that you can apply to your RGB devices and if you want to select custom colors just go into the select custom color mode and create your custom color using RGB or the hex code also in this update the settings app is adding the option to create a virtual hard disk or VHD or create a dev drive and basically the dev drive will be 
an optimized performance for developer scenarios and you can click on create dev drive and you're going to be able to create a disk like this and the process is pretty simple to do that and basically this is a very nice function or feature for developers you'll also notice some new updates related to the network and internet section some new changes when you're using a wi-fi on your laptop and also more information being shown in certain areas of this section also related to the settings app we're talking about quick settings in the quick settings section we have a new volume mixer in windows 11 and here you're going to see the output device spatial sound and also volume mixer so now let's open up a few apps and you'll notice your apps that have a sound output showing up here in the volume mixer as you can see the experience is pretty nice rounded corners they match the windows 11 design and if you click on this button you're going to be quickly redirected to the volume mixer section of the settings app also in this update microsoft is adding hdr wallpaper support i think that is also really nice of course you're going to be able to see those options if you have an hdr display in windows 11 a moment for update we also have a new windows spotlight experience if you right click on the desktop click on personalize and then go and select the theme from here windows spotlight or go to background and select windows spotlight from here but let's go to personalization and just select the windows spotlight theme you'll notice that windows spotlight will automatically fly wallpapers for you and you have this icon here to learn about this picture if you right click on it you'll notice that you will have a completely redesigned menu with some options for example to map it see more photos facts about the picture a description about the picture learn more and also the minimize button like dislike and more if you right click on the taskbar and then click on taskbar settings and enable task view if it's not enabled for you already and then click on the task view button and create a new desktop you're going to have the option to rename your desktop of course for example test let's open it up now and when you will switch between desktops you'll notice that you have a new pop-up that will tell you the name of that certain desktop and also a new animation when you switch between desktops another new addition in this update is the native support for rar 7-zip targz and more archiving formats so basically you will now be able to extract archives of all types using the default windows 11 extracting tool which is the file explorer of course right now the support is pretty limited because you cannot create an archive using that you can only create a zip archive at the moment but i'm sure that microsoft will expand the support in the future related to the notifications there are also some updates to notifications for example you may notice certain notifications that will allow you to turn off notifications for certain apps that you haven't interacted with and now notifications will allow you to turn off notifications from those certain apps there are also other design changes for example a new lock screen network section a new firewall a new program compatibility wording dialogue and those are basically just redesigned to match the windows 11 experience and i think that is great regarding widgets you're going to notice that we have a new add widgets or pin widgets menu and we also have a new widget which is focus session and you can pin it in your widget section if you want as you can see there is also a new ui which separated basically some of the widgets that you've pinned and that are in the discover section following watch play and more now let's talk about all the new apps that you can encounter in windows 11 a moment for update first of all we have a new windows backup app which is redesigned as the windows 11 theme and also has a really nice integration with the installation process where you'll be able to restore certain settings apps from a previous installation and you have here certain categories folders apps settings credentials and more and you can back them up and when you reinstall your system you can access that backup from the onedrive storage also you may notice a new dev home app in this update which can be automatically installed if you select in the installation process of windows 11 that the purpose of the computer or the installation is for development and also the dev home app will be automatically opened in your system and this will have an integration with github and more useful tools for developers next up we're going to talk about a new version of paint which will allow you to remove photo background using ai so i have here a picture i'm going to right click on it and then click on open with and paint i'm going to go down here and click on fit to window and then we have here this new tool remove background click on it and you're going to notice that the background will be removed of course this is the first version of this ai integration inside paint and it could be more useful for example i would want to have layers in the future in the paint app or to be able to save images with a transparent background because you cannot do that right now we also have an updated snipping tool app which now will allow text actions with the app or to detect text in photos so for example i'm going to open up the settings app so we have some text and then we're going to go and click on new and we're going to make a quick snip here from the settings app and you're going to notice that now we have this new option which says text actions click on it and you're going to have the following options copy all text or quick redact and with quick redact you're going to be able to automatically hide emails and phone numbers which i think is really really nice and if you click on this drop down you're going to have the option to select 
but email addresses or phone numbers if you want to do a quick redact to the text in the photo or you can copy all text and if I'm going to open up the notepad app and open a new tab we're going to notice that we have all the text from here which is in my opinion pretty accurately detected and of course this again using AI. The new snipping tool app in the Windows 11 moment 4 update also has the option to record your computer screen and it has microphone support and I think that is great and you can see how easily it is to record your screen using a default app from Windows 11. The notepad app also has some new functions for example a new auto save function as you can see notepad will automatically save your progress all your content will be available the next time you open notepad and all the tabs will be remembered all the content from notepad will be remembered as well and if you go into the settings section we're going to see here that you have an option when notepad starts open content from the previous session or open a new window maybe if you don't want notepad to save your previous session i think the app that has the most new features is the photos app inside windows 11 and this has a lot of new features which i'm going to showcase right now first of all if i right click on a picture and then click on edit we're going to notice that we will have this new option background blur and you can click on it and you're going to have here the option to blur your background and you have blur intensity and we can intensify this if we want which i think is pretty nice when i leave it on 50 percent and you also have select brush tool can turn this on and you are going to have an option to select the area brush size brush softness as you can see Microsoft is introducing a lot of useful things inside the photos app and the photos app can easily be used to do simple edits or even more advanced edits which will be done pretty fast because the photos app is using AI also you can now do content search for OneDrive photos based on the content for this you're gonna to have to make sure that you're signed in, in your Microsoft account navigate to the OneDrive personal section and the search bar at the top enter what you're looking for for example car beach birthday vacation and so on and you can also do a location search and this feature will be available to all photos in your collection including those stored file system OneDrive and iCloud and Microsoft is also introducing Samsung and Google motion photo support you can now view the video portion of motion photos captured on Samsung and Google devices we also have some other fixes and improvements for the photos app Microsoft updated their upscaling logic so that images no longer appear pixelated when zooming in by a large factor so as you can see I zoomed in here a picture and it looks very very nice it's 500% zoomed in and it barely looks pixelated in my opinion Microsoft is doing a great job with this function I think touch support for slideshow is now available swipe left and right to easily navigate to the next photo in your slideshow edit and create video options are now easy accessible at the top of the gallery view as you can see up here and also the previous issue where an app restart was required for iCloud photos to start showing is fixed once you have enabled photo syncing in your iCloud for Windows app you will see photos stored on iCloud start showing up also the phone link app received quite a few updates to integrate better with phones and also it was redesigned here and there to match the Windows 11 theme and we can also encounter a new phone link setting inside the settings app which basically will allow you to enable or disable phone link and phone link will automatically open if you turn this slider on the Microsoft Store app also received a new section the AI hub section where apps that use AI will be showcased and here you can see apps for certain categories that use AI in this separate section of the Microsoft Store. Microsoft also added the new Emoji 15.0 support and also a new design for emojis and I think they are looking pretty good and they are also expanding the support for a lot of apps that you will be able to use the emojis in. And we also have some updates for the voice access app and also live captions. Basically these apps received a lot of improvements, new languages that are supported and more and you can check those out if you're interested and if they're useful to you. And finally we can talk about the Windows 11 installation process basically the moment for installation process and which will carry on to Windows 11 23h2 we will have a new presence sensing function inside the installation process also as I've said the after installation experience will be changed depending on what you selected the purpose of the installation to be for for example development will open up the dev home app and if you choose something else maybe the get started app will be automatically opened up after installation and so on and also now voice access is available in the Windows 11 installation process and you can use dictation to do a lot of stuff directly from the installation process. So these are pretty much all the new features in the Windows 11 Moment 4 update. Please let me know in the comments below what is your favorite new feature from this huge update that Microsoft started rolling out yesterday to all Windows 11 22H2 users. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future outlets like this one. I was Jumani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.